ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed the eye look I was wearing in my recent favorites video. I used the super awesome Visart 01 Neutral Matte Shadows. These are so good, super pigmented, super amazing. I adore them and for the fall time, it's such a great time to have an all matte eye look. So I did something that is super basic like you could do this with a black winged liner instead of the bronzy look i did and really wear any lip color you want i switched up for this video in the last one i was using something neutral and this one i was like i want to be a little bit more bold but anywho if you'd like to see how i created this look and get a good idea of how well these shadows blend out just keep watching I'm starting off by priming my eyes using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm going to take this from lid all the way up to the brow. Now usually I set any kind of primer I use on my eyes using a bone colored shadow, but I'm going to skip that today just because I feel like these shadows are so blendable on their own that I really don't feel like I need to. I don't necessarily need to with a lot of shadows I use, but these are so good you really don't need to. So I'm going to grab this white shade on a MAC 239 and I'm first going to apply this right underneath the brow arch. So not all the way from outer to inner, just at the brow arch and then blend down. You don't want to go from tip to tip because that kind of creates more of a manly appearance. We want to just raise the arch up a bit. I'm also going to take that shade and put it right on the lid from inner corner all the way out. Just don't go past the lid area. If you do, it really won't matter. We're using light shades and it'll buff away anyway. I'm gonna make sure to pack a little bit of this on my inner corner right here and also right underneath the lash line right here. With a MAC 224, I'm going to grab this shade right here. Sorry, these have no names on them. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm gonna buff this right above and into the crease, really making sure that it's all nice and blended out. Same brush, and I'm now going to go in with this neutral brown tone right here. And I'm gonna concentrate this color a little bit more into the crease. This look is about layering and creating a little bit of depth into the eye, and but it's still being quite soft and wearable. I like to go in back and forth windshield wiper motions and then in circular motions, smaller this time, so that we can blend it out. I'm going back in with that original color just a little bit and going right around the edges to help blend that but just very softly and very lightly. Using a MAC 221, I am grabbing this dark brown shade right here just on the tip of the brush. And I'm using this because it's much smaller than the 224, so you can get better placement. And I'm taking this color and I am placing my brush and wiggling right here on this outer corner. I'm going to build it up as I go. I'm starting off just at the outer corner. I will blend up the extra into the crease in a minute, but right now I'm just concentrating on getting the amount of pigmentation I want right in this outer corner. Now with anything I have left on this brush, I'm just going to go ahead and swoop this over directly into the crease. Do not bring this upward. That's it for the lid portion of the eye, so I'm going to do a nice wing. For my wing, I'm going to be using Rich Ground. I talked about this in my favorites video. I love this color. It's an oldie but a goodie, and I've been wearing it a lot lately, and even at work, people have been commenting on it, so yeah, I've been kind of going ham with this color, but it really complements this eye look, so I'm going to use it. As usual, I'm using my NARS 47 brush to do this. Now that I've got my liner done, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to use Max Mineralize Concealer. I put this right underneath the wing and then I take something like the MAC 252 
and just buff it out. And this just cleans up all that shadow that got right here. And on certain eye shapes like mine, it can kind of bring it downwards instead of making it swoop up. So I've explained that a million times in my videos. I'm sorry, I know. But for anybody new, it's just gonna clean up that shadow and make the eye shape more lifted. For the lower lash line, I'm going to grab that fluid line again and a MAC 219 pencil brush. And just on the very tip of this, do not get a whole lot of product, very, very little. And go right at your lash line. And then I'm going to buff it downwards. But if you get too much product, it'll look crazy and we don't want that. So get it right at the lash line and then start to bring it downward. You can go back and add as you want or as you need to, but going in with too much is, is too hard to erase it after it's already done. And I'm stopping this right at where that white starts. Now to buff that out, I'm going to grab the transition shade we used with the NARS pencil brush. I find that this brush, because it's not as pointed, is easier to use to blend out shadows under the eye. And I'm just going right underneath where we put that fluid line. Apply your favorite mascara to top and bottom lashes. I'm using a Max Extended Plate in Giga Black. Now that I have my mascara on, I'm going to pop on some false lashes. I'm using the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. These are, how many are in here? Four pairs, and I think it was nine bucks for the pack, which is super cheap and super awesome because I can use these several times each pair, and I really like the way they look, so. I'm gonna pop these on, but I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't know, I hate putting lashes on on camera, so I will be right back, guys. Lashes are on and we are moving on to the face. I do already, obviously I have my foundation routine on, but I have a little bit of bronzer as well and I'm going to apply some blush. This is Max Gingerly. This is officially my favorite fall blush. I, I've been using this quite a bit, but you guys probably already know that. So I'm gonna apply that using a MAC 129. And a good rule to follow when you're applying blush, because we all know that I like to go ham, is to use a two finger rule so that this spot right here is clear of blush, so you want it to be just like so. And before I go and blend all that out, I'm going to contour, and I'm using the Marc Jacobs Light Filtering Contour Powders. I think this is the shade number 44 Mirage. 40, sorry. And I'm using this guy. This is from the Real Techniques set that I got, and this is the Contour Dual Fiber Brush. And I'm using this to sculpt out the cheeks, add a little bit up here, and the nose, you know, just contour your face. And I'm going to take my MAC 139. You could use a 187 or any really kind of dual fiber brush that you want. You can see mine's dirty. I use it all the time. And I'm just blending out my face so that we don't have any harsh lines. The last thing I want to do for my face is add a little bit of glow to it. So I'm going to use Becca Moonstone. This is probably my favorite super glowy highlight, super intense, I guess. I feel like I can wear this one without it being too emphasizing on anything. There's just something about Moonstone that I find to be a bit more buttery. And I'm going to use this brush. This is the Wayne Goss number three. This brush is everything for highlight. It is so soft and it just applies it perfectly. So I'm gonna apply this to the tops of my cheekbones and blend it down. Because I have large pores, I'm very careful to stop it right here. A lot of people can bring it down a little further, but this is my problem area, so I definitely don't go there. And then my fine lines are right here, so I make sure to go right underneath and don't bring it up too far. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this powder and go right on the tip or bridge of my nose, just right here, and then right on the tip, and a little on the Cupid's bow, or maybe a lot. <laughs> This is seriously the softest brush in life. All right. All right, for the lips, I'm gonna do something a little different than what I did in my favorites video. I'm gonna go with a red, and this is Dose of Colors in Brick. Liquid lipstick, I do already have Max Prep and Prime Lip Primer on, and I'm just gonna put this right on top.
Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell just how overlined my lips are, but I I have to tell you guys, I wasn't expecting this. I haven't used this, when did this come out? In like June? So what, June, July, August, September, October? Four months ago, and I went to put this on. I haven't used it, but like four times, and it's kind of gooey and dried and weird feeling like my lips actually feel kind of tight right now it was hard for me to get it on and I had to get a lip brush and go around and just I was not willing to scrub my lips to try to get it to work and it feels real funky on my lips right now and this is very unfortunate like This is very unfortunate because I, I love these liquid lipsticks, but I don't know if I'm going to buy any more. I guess I'll figure out if, let's see. Sand is still pretty creamy. And stone looks all right. But this one, this one has turned on me. So anywho, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I, uh, I definitely didn't leave it open, so I have no idea. I know I'll be looking into it. But anywho, <laughs> the final look is pretty, and my overdrawn lips are <laughs> fine by me. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and let me know also if you had any issues with any of the Dose of Colors uh, liquid lipsticks. This is the first time it's happened to me, and unfortunately it happened on camera or else I probably wouldn't even mentioned it, but it happens and I'm here to tell the truth. So anywho, this is the finished look. Please subscribe if you're not already, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.